Holy crap, guys. The leaks were 100% legit. Fanny Bomb was 100% legit. Oh boy. Don't worry, I'm not gonna talk extensively about the other leaks, because I know it's gonna spoil some of you, but... We're going to talk about the new trailer that just hit for Fire Emblem 16 Treehouses. Uh, as we suspected, we got a little bit of a reveal at the recent Nintendo Directs. We haven't gotten any gameplay information yet. That might come later. So when that eventually comes out, I will make a follow-up video talking about that. But for now, we got a 1 minute 34 second long trailer with cinematics and uh, basically just story reveals. We now have gotten confirmed that there will be a five-year time skip. We have footage of all the various lords after said time skip. And it just turns out that this story is going to be a lot darker than we had originally anticipated. So, let's just jump into it, guys. This is going to be huge. So first things first, we know that there's going to be a five-year time skip. The trailer opens up showing Claude and the other students from the Golden Dare, and we get to hear what I think is Edelgard's new voice actor. I don't remember exactly who it is right now, but I know that she has been sort of confirmed. And she says basically, let's meet back at the monastery in five years. And I think Claude goes uh, like a sort of a school reunion. So it very much turns out that the first half of the game will sort of be uh, you at the monastery, just training up your students, there will probably be a little bit of a campaign, maybe fighting against some bandits and, and whatnot, and then we'll have the five-year time skip, and then we'll all come back. And something tells me that the real story begins after the time skip. That's when I think the real conflict and the real dark aspect of the story will start. So, uh, we get to see footage of all the various lords, including Byleth, post-time skip, Edelgard looks very majestic. She has red armor. Again, she looks like a baron. She has horns on her head. She has this weird little tiara. She looks really regal and really imposing. Claude, on the other hand, looks uh, pretty handsome. He has a beard. He looks a lot more grown up in his facial features. But I'd say out of all the, all the lords, he's the one that kind of resembles himself the most. It, it doesn't seem like... The time skip seems to have altered all the lords in various ways. But Claude seems to be the one that sort of resemble his old self the most. We get to see Byleth with what I think is... Is that yellow or white here? I'm colorblind, so it's a bit difficult for me to see. Uh, we get to also to see uh, Byleth wielding the Sword of Creation, which is what the sword is called, and apparently it's a 1-2 range uh, legendary weapon. It's sort of like a whip sword. We see the, uh, some initial footage of this in the first trailer. We see this old man attacking with it and wrecking havoc with it. So it seems like Byleth will be uh, be wielding the sword post time skip. Maybe Byleth gets it prior to the time skip. We don't really know. But the most shocking reveal here is Dimitri. He has an eye patch, and he just looks very evil in this time skip. Like he even says, "Kill them all." He has. He just seems like he has been overtaken by his demons. It's really, really sad in a way. We we knew from the description of Dimitri's reveal that he sort of has a shadow hanging over him. But it seems like the time skip has not been kind to Dimitri at all. He seems downright evil in this. Seems like he just wants to murder everyone around him. Uh, absolutely insane. I can't wait to see what the time skip has done to the other students. Apparently everyone will get new art. So this is crazy. I mean, we haven't had a time skip in a Fire Emblem game since Genealogy of the Holy War. I am so excited for this. So we get to see what apparently is like a failed reunion. Uh, Claude opens up saying, like, this is the worst reunion ever. We get to see Dimitri yelling, like, kill them all. Uh, something tells me that shortly after they decided to meet up again, they were attacked, most likely by the Church of Seros, and the Church of Seros probably killed someone dear to them, and that's why Dimitri is so pissed off, and Claude is sitting there going, like, man, this is this sucks. We get to see fire raining down from the sky. I think this is a clip from the attack itself. Looks like it's happening outdoors and not at the Garrick Mock Monastery. And uh, what's kind of interesting is we don't get to see Byleth's dad anywhere in this trailer, which leads me to believe that, oh, shocker, the dad will probably die. Either uh, the dad gets killed in the attack that we see, or maybe he died post-time skip. We don't really know, or pre-time skip. It's kind of hard to say, but it very much seems like the real fight begins after this attack that we get to see here. We also get to see what looks like it's Dimitri and Edelgard dancing? They're standing back to back. It, it sure looks like they're dancing, or it may be some sort of dance or some sort of ceremony. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, seems to be from... Uh, before the time skip, though, because Dimitri looks like his younger self. We also get to see this footage of 
a war taking place after night. We get to see these red whips in the distance with a red glow around them and uh, the Pegasus Knights flying overhead. This seems to be from the same battle that we saw in the very first initial trailer. You know, the one where Edgard says what a brutal, irrational world we live in, and we see the Pegasus Knights flying uh, overhead. It seems to be from that battle, and those red whips, one of them could very well be by Let's Ancestor swinging his sword, but there seems to be more of them too, so that's really, really strange. Again, so many small details here, it's kind of hard to catch it all. Then we hear a voice clip of what I think is Dimitri saying we have to put an end to the cycle of the strong threatening the weak. And then we immediately see a cut of uh, Rhea's ancestor fighting with Bailet's ancestor, the old man versus the blonde lady fighting, and we know that this is a basically a flashback to a previous rebellion that took place a long time ago. And uh, this leads me to believe that this is Dimitri speaking out against the Church of Seros. Apparently the Church of Seros is using their power to bully the weak. Uh, maybe prior to this we've just witnessed the Church of Seros attacking a bunch of innocents, and this is very much Dimitri like calling them out. Uh, so we know that we're, we'll be rebelling against the Church of Seros, there is no doubt about that, and I think this voice line is also directed against the Church. Next up there's this... Uh Bishop that kind of has a bit of a Manfroy feel to him saying so the fell stone consumes even the darkness itself uh, I think that this might be in indicating that there's some sort of dark crests Maybe that's by Let's crests and uh, we know that the crests can corrupt uh, People turning them into monsters So I very much think that the fell stone might be either by Let's crest or some other form of crests that corrupts everything It touches and that this dark priest whoever he is if he's tied to the church of Seros or maybe some other sort of dark Dark religion is shocked that the crest is like devouring everything around it maybe creating some sort of super monster we get to see him kneeling on the floor and there's kind of there's the symbol underneath him that's probably him activating his crests uh, just looks really really cool then we get to see a clip of Byleth going super sane, even getting yellow here, like, what the hell? Like, this is anime right now. And um, Sothis delivers a very interesting line that I thought was uh, pretty cool to point out. We, we hear her saying, both sides of time are revealed to you, what shall you do? This very much indicates that Byleth has power over time, which we already knew, because we see some footage of Byleth stopping and returning time. But I think it's going to be even more than just a turn wheel uh, mechanic. I think that in the story, Byleth will probably be able to go back in time, or maybe, sort of kind of similar to like Doctor Strange, maybe Byleth can actually see different timelines and pick the ones that they want to go into. Um, I think that this footage of Byleth like going in Super Saiyan mode is probably from when they activate their power. Uh, it's it's gonna be pretty interesting to see. I mean, uh, this is just absolutely crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Then we cut to a clip of Claude doing like a heroic speech about friendships and bonds. It seems like he'll be the happy-go-lucky guy among the three lords. He's all about that power of friendship. We also get to see this clip of Dimitri apparently sitting in some sort of cell, but being offered a hand. Again, Dimitri really seemed to have a chip on his shoulder. He, he seems like he's completely consumed by his demons. And Claude seems to be the one that is all positive and going like, Hey, we gotta fight, guys, come on! And uh, we also see some sort of zombie coming out of a coffin with chains around it. Again, we know that terrors are going to be in this game now, so I think this is probably a cinematic of a, of a terror attacking. Maybe this is the first time we encounter the terrorists themselves. Again, so many little details in this trailer. It's impossible to get everything. You get to see Edelgard leading against her sword. She seems really tired for some reason, talking to Byleth, who apparently will have bright hair after the time skip. It doesn't seem like uh, this is something that just happens when you go into Super Saiyan mode. It seems like Byleth will just look like this all the time now. So again, uh, what a trailer, guys. What a trailer, guys. I just got infinitely more hyped for Three Houses right now. Uh, we got a time skip. The story seems really solid. We know the Fanny Bombs leaks are real, which means that the story is apparently really good. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about the other leaks because I know that will be a spoiler for a lot of you. But so far, everything the Fanny Bombs said has been proven to be true, which makes me super excited for this game. Apparently, it's going to be a really good one. Uh, I know I'm, I'm potentially burning myself a lot by being so hyped for this game, but I can't help it. After seeing this trailer, I am sold for Tree Houses. I am sold for Tree Houses. I am on the hype train. I am on the bandwagon. I am counting down the dames. <laughs> the dames. I'm counting down the days to this game's release. I could not be more excited, guys. Let me know in the comment section 
What are your thoughts on the new trailer and treehouses in general? Are you hyped or are you not hyped? I'm gonna read every single comment because because I'm just fucking ecstatic. Give this video a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>